Hello everyone, my name is Ifa Labi and welcome back to my channel. The past couple of years and past couple of months, there's been an explosion of grab and goes in Accra. I think like the concept of grab and go makes so much sense, you know, utilize a small space but deliver great quality food. That's for those who are giving us great quality food. I mean, it's not every day that you want to go like sit in a restaurant, be dressed up, sometimes you just want to be in like flip-flops and then get food and you know come back to your house and eat. There's been so many popping up all over the place lately and for this particular video I decided to try one from one of the people I know. Today we are going to try grab and go from Mokasi Chick. Basically there is one flagship product which is the jollof. She's very well known for her jollof. If you know Mokasi Chick you know her for her jollof. You know her for the fact that she does really great amazing jollof and that is what she's translated into the grab and go. You get jollof with different things. I sorted jollof, you get jollof and chicken, jollof and fish and for those who don't like jollof I mean you can, you can get fried yam but honestly if you're going to see here why not just get the jollof. For this video I actually got the jollof with chicken wings and then jollof with fish so we're just going to try it. Let's try the fish first, the jollof and fish first. This is how it looks like that's the jollof, the fish and then vegetables on top. I'm not a fan of garnishing food with vegetables. I feel like it is overdone. I feel like it's unnecessary. That's just my personal preference. I don't like when food is garnished with vegetables. So like it, instead of putting the vegetables on top of the food, just put it inside the food. So this is totally different from this video, but I have a mini rant about green pepper. Now I understand that green pepper is more of like more economical, more affordable. But for the life of me, I don't understand why we stopped eating shito. Shito is like still a great condiment. Okay, let's bring back shito. This green pepper is like fried yam or kili willy if you're so inclined. But this and jollof is just, no. Let's not do that. Before I even get into this, I need to know people's opinions. Where do you fall on the jollof and stew argument? Are you pro? Jollof needs to come with stew or do you feel like if there's stew on top of jollof then it means that jollof wasn't done well Me personally, I like stew with everything even on jollof Because you can never have enough of stew. So let me know what you think Do you think stew should go with jollof or jollof no stew nothing But maybe shuttle and salad and fish or any protein you like. Okay, so let's do this This, I mean, it's Makasa Chicks Jollof. It's, it tastes really great. It's really good. I like the fact that the fish is seasoned quite well because I've had fish from certain places and if I tell you that the fish tasted raw, it really tasted raw. But this fish is seasoned quite nicely and I like the season on the fish. Next, I'm going to try the chicken wings. So I'm trying the chicken wings with the Jollof. Surprisingly, I like the fish better with the jollof than the chicken which is odd because I thought I would definitely definitely like the chicken because I'm a chicken person so that's interesting that's a very interesting observation now on the whole I think that this is a great meal to have and for those of you wondering a plate goes for like 30 cities 35 cities which is on par with how much food costs across the city in Accra now I'm not here to debate about the economics of food and why food costs as much that is a topic for another day but for what it's worth 30 35 you can get a great meal enjoy it for lunch or for dinner if you don't want to cook but i will say this i really like the way culinary or catering or food is the food space is becoming very disruptive you know is you no longer need to like pay expensive rents to get a place and you know get a theme a decor anything you don't need to be extra with your food space just get a space where you can create and let it be your own and then you know sell food out of there that is really great because we get to try out different cuisines different sorts of food and if it's worth it you know you keep on getting repeat business and that's what life is anyways this has been my review on Mukasi's Mukasi chicks grab and go let me know if you've tried the food and if you enjoyed it let me know what your favorite thing to have with it is for me right now at this point i enjoyed it with the fish so if i go there next time i'm going to buy the fish and not the chicken wings which i need to really look into that but anyways thank you so much for watching this video let me know in the comments below your thoughts about jollof in general let me know what your favorite grab and go places are in accra my name is ifa Labi and i'll see you on my next video